Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. So, last second decision, I decided to run down to Smith Mountain Lake and fish the Big Bass Tour event here. So it's gonna be today, Friday, and Saturday. It's also Sunday, but I'm only gonna fish Friday, Saturday. Super stoked to be down here. I've only fished Smith Mountain twice. I've had a good time both times I was out. Right now, it's 6.53. Lines in at seven, so we've got seven minutes until we can start fishing. And the way that these run, it's a little bit different than your standard tournament. So there's actually payouts every single hour. So from 7 a.m. until oh, till 3 p.m., um, you can take your biggest fish into the scales and have it weighed. They pay out 10 places, so the top 10 biggest fish every hour is paid. And then the biggest bass over the weekend over the course of the three days wins a brand new nitro so hopefully we just run into like some freak donkey nine and a half pounder and it scoops that's the goal but if we can catch a couple fours or fives or actually if we can catch anything at all that'd be pretty great so we've got some crazy weather coming our way right now it's not too bad i mean overcast we got a light breeze but it's supposed to blow pretty good like into the 20s 25 maybe 30 and it's gonna pour rain today and tomorrow. So that was something that I was actually looking forward to. And one of the reasons I came down to fish, I was hoping that it would deter some of the entries, but it doesn't really look that way. But um, yeah, I'm gonna apologize if some of this video is a little bit hard to watch because of the wind and rain, but we're gonna get after it. The anticipation of this last minute is killing me. 659. Something else that's kind of cool about the setup of this tournament is there is no specific launch that you need to use, so you can use any ramp on the lake. There's a specific weigh-in site, obviously, but you can be out on your spot at 659, just like we are now, as long as your graphs aren't on and you're not fishing. Um, it's almost, it almost feels like loosey-goosey. Uh, like I signed up and I registered and went through all that and was like, is that all I gotta do? And I just show up and fish and hopefully catch a big one and show up on the scales and, yep. Here we go. Let's go. Wait for these graphs to turn on, but when I was last here in the summer, I launched here, I'm not even running. I mean, I found a few brush piles right out on this point in front of me when I fished here last, and they were loaded up with fish. Granted, that was a couple months ago, but since it was right at the ramp, I just decided to start here. Take a look around. Wait for these graphs to turn on so I can find it, look around a little bit, and get going. Oh my god, this is insane. It looks like there's so many fish. Oh man, that's a big one. That's a big one. Please go eat my drop shot. Oh my God, he went straight down for it. But that was it. That's a big one. Just throwing a bunch of different baits right now, looking at them on the graph. Trying to see what they want. They are nosing down to everything, but they're not eating it. Not even biting. So they want something real specific. Fish? Fish. Small one. Oh, is that a small one? God, relax. Caught me a small in a long time. Hey, hey, chill. First fish of the day. All right, that's cool. Switched up my drop shot bait. Went a little bit bigger and changed color. That's probably a one pound small. He ain't gonna do much. I'm not gonna keep him. Cool though. I'll take that. That's the other cool thing about this tournament. It's not like you're forced to fish big baits. Like the tournament I fished last week, it's not like a swim bait only tournament. You just need to catch a big fish. Big fish eat small baits too. Oh, 
That was a seven inch Robo Worm MM3 be in the color. A little tip for you guys. If you are on a good drop shot bite and the fish aren't really, or you aren't really keyed in on one specific color, but you know generally what they like to eat, I like to keep a few different colors out on the deck. So you can just switch between them, throw at the fish and see which one they bite and then stick with that one. All right, first hour of the day in, eight o'clock, caught one fish. Probably about a one pound smallmouth. Stuck around the same area for the most part. I think it's time to move. I just want to run the motor anyway. Oh, we got a live leaderboard now we can watch. That's kind of cool. What's Matt. Matt. Yeah, Matt Strykel. Yeah. No way. That's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Small world. I haven't been out musky fishing in a little while. It's killing me. Yeah. I gotta get out there soon. Okay, nine o'clock, no fish that hour. Kind of slow, I'm gonna fish through this creek real quick, but let's see what won it. Six, four, seven, won that hour. Nice, good fish. 10 o'clock, still nothing. Interesting bite today. I got a, that smallmouth pretty quick on the main lake point, and that is what I'm trying to duplicate now. I think I've been sitting around in the same spot too long, so I've got the troll motor on high and I'm just booking it around. Understand that actually, I don't know. He's probably he's either high three, low four. There's a lot of fish back in this little pocket, flowing in big time. Fish weighed in at three eight four. I'm gonna throw him in the well. I'm gonna let him chill in there for a minute. I'm gonna decide what to do. I mean, he qualifies. What time is it? Ten forty eight. That gives me 12 minutes to get there. Oh yeah, it'll definitely work. I think it's a couple hundred bucks. Let's ride. All right, well, it's 11.02. I missed the cutoff for the 10 to 11 o'clock weigh-in, so I'm just gonna fish for a little bit. Hold on to this fish. You can have three in your live well, and I'm just gonna wait and see what the weights look like. And then once we get closer to 12, I'll run in and weigh it if it'll work, or if I catch a bigger one, I'll weigh that. It's kind of a strategy side of it. Like I don't need to weigh it right now. Why weigh it so early in the hour if there's 10 five pounders caught, but then 12 to one o'clock, there's nothing but two pounders and a five. Here comes the rain, my friends. Really wanted to get into that hour to weigh that fish because it would have, well, actually I got to double check that, but I think that it would have paid. I need probably, 16-ish minutes to make it there from the launch site. If there was no crazy wind, I'd probably do it faster, but I don't know, it was a little choppy. Oh, 
Oh, giant smallmouth. Oh, oh my god, that's a huge smallie. That's gotta be three something. Wow, that is awesome. Come here. He just smoked this thing. Oh, I just saw a bunch of uh, big school, what I believe are blueback. This thing just popped up out of nowhere. You get a weight on him. That is an, that's an awesome fish. Good, Smalley. Stop, 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 stop. It's only four pounds. Put him over on this side. That might make us some money too, boys. All right, it's 11.43. Let me check the leaderboard real quick. 11 to 12. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna fish a little bit more because I can put another one in the live well. Fish for another like five minutes and then go weigh one of those fish and then stick around here. Let's see if I can get another one. I mean, it would be ultimately real nice to catch like a super giant, but if I can just keep making 100 here, 200 there, whatever, it's cool. I'm honestly, if I can cash anything, I'll be happy. That's a big smallmouth, man. So sick. Oh, the school's still there, too. Let's see. There's got to be more smallmouth with it, right? God, it's like right under the freaking boat. It's huge. Like, look how big that school of fish is. Like, just insane Let's double check this leaderboard real quick all right so 208 what won the last one okay 369 cashed in the last one so both of those are over that so let's go away one of them Yeah, <laughs> surprise me too. Good small now, come on Walk up. Walk around. The best guy pays a thousand bucks. The best worth pays 10 cash pounds each hour. 210 hourly pounds over three days. All right, we are looking for 318. You most definitely have it. Lock it in at 399. Gonna move you currently into eight, actually eighth place. Good job. Sweet. We'll take it from there. You're good to go. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Final break down three, six, Thanks, man. four. I think we're in the clear on that one too. We had 399, almost four pounds smally. That guy's got a big one. Damn, okay, that knocked us down to ninth. It's all right, we can get knocked down again. We only have 60 seconds left. We're good. Because there's there's no way two people are gonna weigh in 30 seconds and I'm in ninth place. We'd have to get knocked once and then again. 20 seconds. Nice, we got a ninth. 125 bucks. Let's get back to old. All right, so we've got the 12 to 1 o'clock hour. Come on, buddy. Come on, up. This is so cool. This, the wind is pushing through on the inside of this island, creating like a chute. And as soon as I got back here, I just saw, there's so many fish just staged up right here, waiting for stuff to blow through. There's so many fish right there. I don't they bite. What do they want? They're not small. They are not small, that is for sure. Alright, we're gonna go weigh this other fish. Then get back out and catch the real donkey giant. Sorry, right. Yep. That was gonna put you in seven o'clock. Hey, you want a photo? Next angler is Matt Strykel. Matt 
Strike. Yeah, strike hole. Strike Close enough. Yeah, it's great. Beautiful out. 401 is our bottom way. Not for long. This one's going to lock at 414. That's going to put you in 10th place. That's the bottom way. Good job. I'll take it. Thanks. All right. I think I played that right, though. A little bigger than I thought it was going to be. 414. Uh oh. Actually, I don't know if this guy's weighing for this hour or not, but whatever. We're going fishing. 12 minutes left for the day. I'm happy with um, at least one cash spot. Not bad. Three o'clock. Let's see what one for the hour and for the day. Let's see what the biggest fish were. I'm done. Graphs off. Yeah, I think two to three is the last one. Oh yeah. Five nine five. Smallest was four thirteen. That's good. I think that's what my fish was actually four fourteen last one. Okay, biggest fish of the day. Six and a half pounder. Six five eight six four seven six two three six one eight six one zero. All right, I'm gonna run back to the ramp, which is on the other side of the lake. I'll see you there. All right. Got the generator rolling. Batteries charging. Oh yeah. Today was very fun. I really enjoyed this big bass tour tournament. I really liked the format of the tournament. It was a lot of fun. It was unlike anything that I had fished in the past. And we actually made a little bit of money. We made 125 bucks, so that covered like half, actually more than half the entry fee, because technically it comes out to being like $80 a day. So 125 bucks for ninth place. We almost had that 10th place if we waited till the last hour to weigh it in, the 414 would have held and we would have had um, an, a 10th place cash as well. But it is what it is. And I'm really happy with how the day went. I mean, we caught a four pound small mouth and a four pound large mouth and another dink of a small mouth. Granted, we only had three bites, but it was still a really fun day and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. If you wanna see more tournament content, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I would really like to fish more of these next year and maybe some bigger events in this boat in general. Click that subscribe button here and we'll see you guys on the next one.